project on skin cancer identification fractal dimension analysis and first of all the purpose of my project was to find the relationships in the fractal dimensions of different skin cancer pictures based on their types first of all I'd like to explain what fractal geometry is fractal geometry is a set of geometric patterns that go on forever and so fractal dimension derives from the fact that fractal geometry has a fractional dimension now, my hypothesis in the project was that if I analyze the irregular shape of skin cancer by using two computer softwares, which would be Fractalize and Fractal Dimension Estimator, and find out its fractal dimension using three types of methods, which were the radius mass method, the correlation method, and the box counting method, then I will be able to find out the, fra the relationships between the fractal dimensions and the types of skin cancer. Now, I had 30 samples of skin cancer images, and I had two images of non-cancer images, so they were moles. Now, for my methods, I had three types. The radius mass method, which refers to a specific point known as the counting center and gives the law of distribution of the occupied sites around this point, and by drawing circles around this point and the radius r is gradually increased and so it selects a point in the trajectory and it draws a small circle around it and then makes the circle larger and larger and calculates it that way the correlation method um, fills up the trajectory with small shapes it can be any shapes and then it makes the shapes larger and fills it up again and calculates it that way and then the box counting method inserts a grid onto the trajectory, counts how many boxes it touches, and then makes the, bo makes the boxes larger, and then does the same thing, and so on. And so all of these pretty much start simple, and then they get larger and larger and calculate the fractal dimension that way. Now, when referring to my analysis that I made, after I calculated the 30 samples I had, I grouped them based on their types, and I made a central tendency analysis. So I calculated the mean, median, and the standard deviation. So if, as you see here, this is the FD estimator software by using the box counting method. And this y-axis is the fractal dimension value, and this is just the group number. And so the BCC is the basal cell carcinoma, a type of skin cancer as well, and then a squamous cell carcinoma, a melanoma, and then all of my samples, including a couple that I had that weren't part of the main three. They were the actinic keratosis, amelanotic melanoma, and the congenital nevus. And then here I had my control group again, the pictures of moles. Now, as you see, the diamonds here are the mean values, and then the line going through are the standard deviation. And so we move on to this one. This is the Fractalize software using the box counting method. And then we have the Fractalize software again using the correlation method. And so with Fractalize, I use three methods, the box counting, correlation, and the radius mass. But then with FD Estimator, um, it only used box counting method, so that's the only one I used. Now, I want to show you the relationships that I found in these graphs. First, starting off with my control group, as you can see, they have the lowest mean scores on all the graphs. They all have the lowest. And then, over here, on the correlation method, and the box counting method, the basal cells here are off by 0 0.01. And then the squamous cells are off by 0 0.03. And then we have, for all of them, they are the same with 1.57. And so these two have the most relationships, the fractalized software, the box counting method, and the correlation method. And then when we look at the radius mass, you can't necessarily see a good separation of these because of the standard deviations. And this is mainly because of the method. 
And so, but all of these really highly supported my uh, hypothesis. And so, again, I want to point out one last thing. If you look at the squamous cells, on only the fractalized software, they have the highest mean value, the SCC, the squamous cells. But when we come to FD estimator software, the squamous cell is the second most, and so basal cell beat it by 0 0.05 points. And so these two had the most relationships, and you can see a, a general relationship between the same software with the squamous cells, and then the control group on all the graphs, they were low. And so that kind of shows you that, for example, you got a 0. Uh, 27 value, then you have a high chance of it not being a skin cancer. And so when all of these support my hypothesis, I think, how am I going to find the type by using a fractal dimension sample? And so, for example, you got 1.7 value fractal dimension for a skin cancer image then you would have to use the normal distribution process as shown here and so you would to see if it has a high chance of being so a, for example a 68 percent chance of being basal cell for example then you would have to multiply the standard deviation by one add and subtract to the mean and if it's in that range then it has high chance of being that. And then you would multiply standard deviation by 2 or 3, add and subtract, and then the percentage would decrease as you go on. And so by using this method, you would calculate what type it could be by using statistics. And so with these calculations and results, I found this method could be a new way of finding the type or whether or not is it is skin cancer or not in the medical field and thank you for watching